Hi guys. Today I will be talking to you about how the instrument known as the Shimazu TOCV works to analyze total nitrogen. This is what our instrument looks like at Thompson River University in Kamloops, BC, Canada. So this is what the inside of the instrument actually looks like. It looks quite complicated, but how the instrument actually works and how the samples move through and what is detected is not very complicated. I will be explaining to you the step-by-step -step process today. So the samples are pre-treated and put into vials. The vials are placed in the auto sampler, which is what I'm showing you here. A needle pierces the septa, a round rubber-like piece that is part of the vial lid on the top of the vial and draws up a pre-selected amount. Of Once the sample has been drawn up through the needle, it goes through this tube here and it goes into the combustion tube where the temperature is at 720 degrees Celsius. This extremely high temperature decomposes the total nitrogen in the sample to nitric oxide. The total nitrogen has been turned to nitric oxide. It then must be cooled and dehumidified to get rid of any excess water present. For, the, for detection, all excess water must be gone. So the final step in determining the total nitrogen in the sample is the detector, which is done by a chemiluminescence detector. So how does this type of detector work? It detects due to a chemical reaction. So what happens is the nitric oxide produced as a result of combustion chemically reacts with ozone that is present in the instrument and produces nitrogen dioxide in the excited state. When the nitrogen dioxide reverts back to the ground state, light energy is produced, and this is what is detected. So that is how the Shimazu TOCV analyzer works with regards to total nitrogen. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.